Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Tourism and Hospitality Scholars. So in this video, we will be discussing about how to prepare for tourism administration and management that is conducted by NTA National, National Testing Agency. So what would be our preparation strategy for upcoming exam that is on December 2020. So what are the best strategies? What are the trips and tricks to clear this exam in the first attempt? I would also be sharing my past experience of September 2020 exams and what were the questions that were asked in the exam. So discussing, we will start discussing on the topic how to prepare for the exam. So here we, I have listed down some of the internet sources as well as other sources for preparation. And my suggestion would be focus on the internet sources because tourism is a vast subject and if uh, and go for the government sites so that you can get a clear and an authentic data. So first here is Ministry of Tourism site because the exam I had a lot of question from the tourism uh, government sites also focus on incredible India site press information bureau ministry of railway ministry of aviation also search on unesco unwto sites also search for booking sites because questions are there from booking sites as well as car rentals there were a lot of questions in september 2020 exams from tourism organization such as IATA International, Air Transport Association, Universal Federation of Travel Agent Association, American Society of Travel Agents, World Tourism Organization, International Civil Aviation Organization, International Air Transport, Associ uh, International Air Transport o Operations, Federation of Hotel Restaurant Association of India, Travel Agent Association of India, HRACC, Hotel and Restaurant Approval Classification Committee. So the questions were there from all the uh, many tourism organizations and uh, here are some and there are many more. Also you can just uh, you can have a brief idea about this tourism organization as well as you need to know the headquarters as well as what are the dates these are established. And also when you are reading this, arrange them in the chronological order which were from uh, which were formed recent and which were formed in the past because there were a lot of questions on chronology. State tourism websites like MP Tourism, Gujarat Tourism, Kerala Tourism. So also go to go and visit the sites websites. Other sources include newspaper, article, books. Uh, because uh, also go to the various books of tourism there are a lot of books and if you want to prepare uh, you can go for Oxford publication and there are many more YouTube videos and channels are very important nowadays because you can get a lot of information over here food and travel blogs a lot of travel blogs contain cuisines and they visit various places I'm giving an example of a YouTube channel. There are a lot of YouTube channel you can see in YouTube. They are showing showcasing a lot of information related to various sites and spots they are going. So YouTube is a good source of ex extracting a lot of information at a very limited period of time. Research papers because you may do research in future. So study the research papers. Hotel accounting and financial management is an a topic that was uh, that is there in uh, the syllabus so go through these uh, basic accounting questions are asked current affairs related to tourism uh, every day uh, you go to, go through the newspaper and there are a lot of uh, short uh, uh, short articles that are available on mobile that are updating us on the mobile phones so stay connected to it Tourism models and theories are also very important like Leapers model, Stand Plogs model and there are many more so study on this. How to study for the examination is stay focused on the syllabus because 
questions are there from the syllabus nowhere around the questions are there from anyhow you need to focus on syllabus flexible with this topic don't get in detail to the topics just be flexible with the topic give priority to both paper one and two if you will give priority to only paper two and then you will not be focusing on paper one and that will uh, uh, means that will draw back in uh, in your marks so focus on both the paper current affairs stay focused focus on chronological year questions because there were 9 to 10 questions on chronological uh, chronology on september 2020 exam so if when you are reading the dates of the uh, tourism organization and various other topics read a brief history as well as and list the, list down those topic in a chronology which year this were found previous year question papers are very important so study previous year question paper planning and strategy as well as do revision planning and strategy if you will do uh, read uh, you, if your planning will be good then it will get be, it will be very easy to get grf some important topics that were asked in 2020 chronological year questions were there tourism websites car rentals hotel was established hotels established in which year restaurants which what are the name of the restaurants like taj hotels has a various means different restaurant obero has different restaurants so which restaurants belong to which hotels so that is also that was also a question travel websites international tourism questions were there where was thomas cook found and travel websites were also there like airbnb was found in which year and a lot of questions were there from traveling websites historical events current affairs and tourism models some more important topics you may be knowing and if you are not knowing just list down it write in a short paper and prepare this topic because questions are there from the this topic also cuisines of the world domestic international cuisines as well as domestic cuisines five star hotels unesco sites regional food clothes dances and songs of various different states national parks wildlife sanctuaries and biosphere reserves tourist trains uh, like deccan odyssey palace on wheels buddhist trains and maharaja express so when were means which of the tourist spots they are covering like buddhist train is covering rajgir bodh gaya and many more so that question can that there was a lot there was a question on this tourist trains also international trains you need to cover hills and mountains of india that where is kullu manali situated where is nilgiri mountain situated so what is the distance that uh, the nilgiri train mount mataran railway is covering so what what are, what is the distance that is 39 km 49 km so there are question like this also so these are some topics that you need to prepare so that was all about this video if you will if you like this video please like share and subscribe i will bring many more videos so stay tuned to this channel thank you